Hi Samuel, thank you for your time. Um, you're the associate curator behind the 14 Rooms project here in Basel. You came on board two months ago, I think. Correct. Uh, correct. Uh, tell us a little bit about how it came, you know, how it all evolved and, and sort of what happened since then. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be involved in a fantastic project that's now in, going into its fourth year. Um, 14 Rooms now is a joint project between uh, Fondation Baylor, Art Basel and Theater Basel. And it's been co-curated by Hans-Ulrich Oberist and uh, Klaus Giesenbach. And the fantastic thing is that we are now at a stage where this project has grown to a size where we're able to present uh, 14 performance live projects, uh, durable performance pieces uh, during uh, 10 days while the Art Basel week is going on and all the exhibitions are going on. Um, and the special thing about this is that it's a project that is continu continuously uh, growing and evolving. Uh, it's uh, originally in, in uh, Manchester, the Manchester uh, International Festival, uh, in collaboration with the Ruhr Triennale in Essen. And, uh, and it, was usually, it was, was called back then uh, 11 Rooms. Then it went to Essen, it was 12 rooms. Then it went to Sydney last year to call the projects 13 rooms. And now it's arrived in Basel uh, called 14 rooms. So potentially this is a always evolving uh, a project. It can continue and keep evolving um, in regard to locations, new locations, and also of course to the artists that are involved. Um, what's very nice here is that uh, the project always uh, is in the, under the guidance of the, two, of the same two curators who for each new location work with new local quote-unquote local uh, architects to build a new magnificent and different architecture um, and to work with a roster of artists some of the artists that you will see here have been working with uh, since the beginning of this project uh, like Marina Abramovic, like Roman Ondank, like John Jonas and so forth uh, and then once in a while some projects get added newly anyway there's a, every year there's a one new one and being added anyhow and so there's always uh, it's always evolving but it still keeps a steady a steady uh, flow of, of things that are also recognizable over the years so what's the recognizable thing in the whole the whole project doing the, um well, I mean, one time, I mean, the, the great thing is here that you have uh, uh, recurrent um, performances and then over time, every time, every year that goes by, you have uh, the possibility to reconnect and re a live a reperformance of a piece. So Marina's piece has now been reperformed already several times. It's already been reperformed even before because it's a piece. Luminosity is a piece from 1997. Then it was uh, shown at her uh, uh, great retrospective at the MoMA in New York. And so these 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 works obviously, in a way, change the same, uh, keep stay the same, but they keep uh, evolving still, even in ever ever so uh, minute details. And the nice feeling, of course, here is that we're so, so to speak, uh, uh, also um, look at some some sort of living sculpture. So the nice thing about here is here in the morning you come in, you open the doors, you go from room to room throughout the 14 rooms. Uh, you look at in a very intimate space because the rooms are mostly all the same size. They're five by five meters. It's supposed to be a domestic size. It's supposed to be quite of a private space. And. Um, you experience a very close, intimate encounter with, with a very moving, touching, humorous, there's all different kinds of elements embedded in this project. So it's a very nice thing. And then the also nice thing about it is that at six o'clock at night, when the lights go off, uh, the performers get off their, their stages and they go home. And so to speak, the sculpture uh, basically went home and the rooms, is, the rooms are empty. Uh, there are new projects being developed uh, for this specific um, uh, 14 room or rooms project. Uh, which ones are those? Well, some of the new projects that uh, have uh, been uh, speci speci specifically commissioned for uh, 14 rooms uh, is, is the work by Ed Atkins. There's a new work by Dominic Gonzalez Förster, which is kept a secret until now, so nobody knows yet until the opening what it's going to be. Um, what else do we have? We have, of course, two 
historically very important pieces that are being shown for the first time here. One is uh, called Touch piece by Yoko Ono. It's the earliest piece in the exhibition. It's from 1963. And the second piece is a reenactment uh, by, uh, by Bruce Nauman called Wall Floor Positions from 1968. So these are two historical pieces which uh, we're all very, very proud and excited to have with 14 rooms. They give a whole new dimension to the whole, to the whole project. And uh, Autobongs? Of course. Yeah. Otto Bonga Kanga is also the third uh, specially commissioned project for, for, this, uh, for this 14 years project. Is there one, one piece that you are especially excited to see? You personally? Well, I'm personally very excited to see uh, well, there's many things. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big uh, fan of Bruce Diamond, so of course I'm, a, I'm happy to see that. But I'm also uh, very excited to see the flow of this entire experience because uh, besides the 14 rooms we have two additional projects that are part of 14 rooms um, and one of them is being the um, a piece by John Baldessari unrealized proposal for cadaver piece which is going to be shown as a documentation for a project that wasn't been able to realized so we're seeing the documentation of that before you enter actually 14 rooms then it's going to be a very nice flow with having a very symmetrical architecture by Herzog Demero, seven rooms on one side, seven on the other, where you can really go in a zigzag manner through the corridor. And then I think uh, another highlight is actually going to be the epilogue to the whole show, which is a kind of a 15th room presentation by Jordan Wolfson, which uh, has an animatronic dancer in it. Uh, so it's very nice to have kind of these human performances which I'm very excited about all of them, but then also have these two non-human uh, elements in the show. So I can't really tell you specifically which one. I'm very excited about all of them. <laughs> Great, <laughs> thanks a lot. All right, thank you.